I'm here to talk to you all a little bit about shortwave radio and what it is. Because I showed that I put up a shortwave radio antenna and some people thought that that was a CB antenna. And another person thought that was like a way to pick up TV channels. It's not. It just picks up radio channels throughout the world. Shortwave is a way of transmitting a signal that can reach all the way like from New Zealand to here. Or Radio China, Radio Cuba. And, and a lot, uh, it, even though they're foreign, a lot of them are in English. Not all, but a lot of them are. And all you need is something like this to pick them up with. Or a bigger unit, they make all sizes. But the antenna is very important. Something like this with a little antenna will pick up a, a few stations, but but not many. And and with shortwave radio, um, they only broadcast for a short period of time. And then, then you just have to find another station. Some may broadcast for, you know, two hours or three hours at a time. Sometimes it might only be a half hour. But uh, we're going to go on the roof and look at the uh, shortwave antenna that I... Uh, that I installed. Now, I'm not a super techie person. I can't tell you the technical aspects that a lot of people on YouTube can or uh, or anywhere can. I just know that it works better than what I had. I know a lot of people use a long wire, but this works good. I mean, it's picking up good because it's got like an amplif it's got like a preamp on it, uh, an amplifier on the outside, and then there's another one that hooks up to a USB port. So I call that a preamp, like a TV antenna has. So um, it, it picks up better. And it works with it off, but it works a lot better with it on. So we're going to go look at the antenna and see what we've got, because that's what we're going to do. I'll show you to you. It's not, I got it up on the uh, corner of the roof. I really don't like putting antennas on the roof because you got to put holes in the roof, but I had nowhere else to put it. And, you know, it's probably up, I don't know, I'd say it's up 24 feet maybe off the ground. I'd have to get the tape measure out. I'll let you know. I'll get the tape measure out and check that. Uno minuto. Be with you in a minute. Oh, yeah. Shortwave can be important because if everything else shuts down, then you still have communication with the world. So, uh, it, it's nice. And a lot of people have forgotten about it, but it still exists. It's not as popular as it used to be. You don't. Maybe you don't get as many channels as you used to, but it's still there. It really is. Well, here it is. Here's my shortwave antenna on the corner of the roof. It's a loop antenna. It's kind of hard to see. And right there it is. It's an MLA 30 plus. And you can see the loop right there as it loops around right there, up there. I got to get on the other side because the sun is bright. And there's the top of it. Now you can see how it loops. I had to trim this tree right there. There, it's just a loop. It's good for AM, also known as medium wave and short wave. So at the very top of the loop, I'm just using the PVC here. I cut a slot so that the antenna could sit right down in there. And then I put a zip tie on there so it couldn't come out. So, uh, and then down here on this right here, I've got that screwed in and zip tied. So I think that's gonna work pretty good. Yeah, I got a screw in here, right here, and then one underneath it, and then the two zip ties. And it, it, it feels pretty solid to me. I don't think, yeah. The PVC's in there tight, it should be able to with take quite a bit of wind. Because I only used one, I used one, screw into the into the I don't know maybe I should put more screws in but I don't want I really don't want to put a whole bunch of holes in there so I think it'll be fine like it is and as we look at it from here it looks to be straight up and down of course I didn't level it or anything but there I just I just shook it so you can see how it wiggles so from the reviews I guess it holds up well in the wind so I guess we'll find out Right now, I just got it running down and through the the uh, computer room window. But I did have to buy an extra cable because it comes with 25 feet and that's not quite enough to reach where I need it to. So I had to buy another 20 feet or 25 feet, whatever. And uh, they make all kinds of connectors. So I got all the right 
connectors and uh, cable to hook everything together. I think that'll hold up. Now I'm gonna get my tape measure out and see how far off the ground I am. I just got my um, tape measure out and it's roughly 18 feet from the ground to the middle of the antenna. So we're 18 feet in the air, so that's pretty good. That ought to pick up good. We're up here into clean air and I've trimmed the trees, so uh, it should pick up some signal from here, there, and yonder. Around a quarter past 12 this morning. Claire Concannon and the team with our changing world at a quarter past one. Just make clear visits to New Zealand, Hungarian, an international collection of microorganisms from plants. The ICMP, the Hungarian, contains over 100,000 specimens of dried fungi. And the ICMP has tens of thousands of living cultures stored in liquid nitrogen. Those collections are housed at Manaki Fenera. Help with two main functions discover more about New Zealand's biodiversity and protecting native flora from pesky invading pathogens. Our changing world at a quarter past one. Heart and soul from the BBC just after two for you this morning. The BBC Hong Kong reporter Danny Vincent is from Christian Mountains to the fled the territory. And right there is the receiver. That's the other end of the amplifier. You plug it into a USB port. I've got an adapter that so you can just plug it directly into the outlet from USB to the um, adapter and plug straight into a normal 110 outlet. So that's what it is. And then I've got this adapter on the back of this radio here that plugs into the BNC connector like that. And then, uh, whoops, oops, I'm using this Eden, Eden field radio right here. Oh, it's getting dark in here. And the light just came on. That's spooky. Oh, that's some kind of Spanish channel right there. But it picks up good. Anyway. Um, you can scan through the channels and it'll stop on a lot of different stations. Depending on what time of day you're doing the scanning. Anyway, there's one right there. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Short waves may not rule the, the waves like they used to, but it's still around. And it's still useful. And I shot this entire video on an iPhone 12. Because I'm getting lazy and I don't want to get out the better stuff. But the iPhone 12 is quite good at recording. And this video was exact and to the point. Yeah, I don't know a lot about short wave frequencies, but I know that they can bounce that off a long ways because a standard FM signal is like 40 to 50 mile range and and shortwave is thousands of miles of range and it depends on the atmosphere but it can reach a lot further and you can learn you can learn lots of things all right hope you find this video informative and instructive like I said I don't know a ton about it that when you get in the techno at technical aspects of shortwave. I just know it can reach much further than a standard FM signal can. Anyway, aloha, goodbye, and keep on breathing. Until the next video comes out, see ya. Bye-bye, and stay healthy.